Prior to conducting a crystal healing, it's important to cleanse both the environment and the crystals you will be using for your layout. As discussed in our previous Crystal Awareness course, there are many ways you can do this. Energy can accumulate in a room if it's not used regularly, if it's used too often, or if it's not aired sufficiently. It's not necessarily negative energy that accumulates, but it can be stagnant or old energy that just needs to be cleared and moved along. White sage is from the Native American tradition and is said that any lingering or negative energy leaves on the smoke of the sage. It is best to start in the corners of the room and walk your way around, blowing the smoke in the direction you wish it to go. You can do this with your breath, your hand, or even a special smudging fan. Essential oils help to cleanse the area through their delicate scents. Like crystals, essential oils, which are made from plants and flowers, have an energy signature which can assist in the subtle healing and cleansing. You can use a specially made room spray using water and drops of essential oil, or simply have a beautiful vaporizer in the room. Sound is another tool that has its own energy vibration and can therefore shake up and transform the energy in a room and within our bodies. A Native American drum, Tibetan bells, singing bowls, rattle, or any other pleasant sound can shift the energy. Whatever method you use to clear your crystals and your space, do so with mindfulness and the intention to move the energy on. You may like to imagine a clean, crisp energy flowing into the room or fill the room with a white light. You may simply like to say an affirmation such as, I invite love and light into this space of healing. Your intention is very important when doing any kind of energy work. To know if a room has been cleared is just a matter of using your intuition. You may feel a slight shift in your energy levels, or you may feel a little lighter. If you don't feel any change, simply trust that whatever tool you have used has done its job, just the way you intended. You can complete a crystal healing on yourself or on another person. The beautiful thing about working with crystals is that you are using your intuition to guide you. Providing you know the location of the chakras or the location of a particular ailment, all you need to do is simply trust your intuition with respect to placement. Once you know what you will be working on during the healing, it is time to choose your crystals. If you are doing a general chakra healing, choose crystals that relate to that particular chakra. Crystals that are black brown or red, are used for the base chakra. Tourmaline, smoky quartz, tiger iron and red jasper are good examples. Crystals that are orange are used for the sacral chakra, such as carnelian and orange calcite. Crystals that are yellow are best used for the solar plexus. Citrine, tiger eye and yellow calcite are beautiful to use. Green or pink crystals for the heart chakra such as rose quartz, aventurine, rhodochrosite, or tourmaline work wonders. Blue crystals for the throat chakra, such as blue lace agate and sodalite, are ideal. And deep purple or deep blue crystals, such as lapis lazuli or amethyst, are lovely for the third eye chakra. And white crystals, such as selenite, clear quartz, and apophyllite, assist in the rebalance of the crown chakra. Of course, these are only guidelines and suggestions. Use your own intuition and trust that whatever you are most drawn to is perfect to use. You may offer the person you are working with to choose their own crystals, or you may choose them on their behalf, understanding what they are receiving the healing for. Whatever works best for the both of you. A crystal healing is conducted fully clothed, laying down face up, and can take place on a bed, massage table, or even on the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you and the person that you're working on. You may like to play some relaxing music whilst you're conducting the healing to further create a sacred space in which to work. And once you have an understanding of the area you will be working on or an understanding that you'll be completing a general chakra layout, it is time for you to balance and ground yourself. If you are working with another person, Invite them to take deep breaths and relax. And whilst they are doing this, 
Imagine a white light coming in through the top of your crown chakra at the top of your head, slowly flowing all the way down through your body, filling your body with this light, down through both legs and reaching down into the earth below, grounding you in the nourishing, nurturing energy of Mother Earth. You can then complete a smudging or clearing on the person you are working with by sweeping their aura or simply visualising them bathed in beautiful white or golden light. Once you or the person you are working with is comfortable, the energy has been cleared and you are feeling grounded, you are ready to begin your crystal healing.